an interview with Michael Schumacher, given less than two months before he suffered serious head injuries in a skiing accident in 2013 has been released. It was released on Schumacher's website by his family and is the first previously unseen interview released since his accident. In it, Schumacher reflects on his life in F1, having ended his career for a second time only a year previously after a comeback with Mercedes. Interview with Michael Schumacher, from before his 2013 skiing accident has been released it is the first previously unseen interview released since Schumacher suffered head injuries Schumacher reflects on his life in F1, having ended his career for a second time a year before related articles previous one next Robert Kubica to return to F1 in 2019 with Williams 8. We want his last Grand Prix to feel special in every way. It has helped the less talented people, Fernando Alonso. As Fernando Alonso prepares to race in F1 for the final. Share this article share he describes his most emotional championship victory, having won a record seven in his illustrious career, as being his first with Ferrari in 2000. Schumacher, who had previously rarely spoken about his career, said, 21 years no championship with Ferrari, 4 years myself failing. Then finally, in a great race, to achieve it, win the World Championship. He describes former McLaren driver Mika Hakkinen as being the rival driver he respected more than any other in his career, but that his greatest sporting idol as a child was not an F1 racer. Schumacher says, the most respected guy in all those years was definitely Mika Hakkinen. Great fights, but stable private relationship in the young days of karting, I looked around and yes I saw Ayrton Senna or Vincenzo Sospiri, but my real idol was Tony Schumacher, former Germany international goalkeeper and no relation because he was a great soccer player. Schumacher, in 2005 with wife Karina, hit his head on a rock while skiing in 2013. The famously focused and bloody-minded Schumacher also reveals his belief that his success in F1 owed as much to teamwork as to his individual race skill. He said, success, as in any situation of life, or in most I know, is about teamwork. Yourself, you do what you do. As a team, you will be much stronger. Formula One is a teamwork, and definitely not a one-man show. Asked about whether he ever doubted his abilities, Schumacher said that he was always skeptical and self-critical even when analyzing his two titles with Benetton and his five in a row for Ferrari. Records is one thing, doubts, I think it is very important to not be overconfident, to be skeptical, to look for improvements.
Yeah, I always felt I am not good enough, I have to work, and that was one part of the recipe that made me what I became. His son Mick is also a racing driver and is looking to follow his father into Formula 1. The video interview is marked as being given on the 30th of October 2013. On the 29th of December that year, Schumacher suffered a serious head injury after crashing while skiing with his son on holiday in Maribel. He hit his head on a rock, leaving him comatose and requiring two operations. The 49-year-old continues to be treated at home in Switzerland, with official updates on his condition exceedingly rare. Only close friends and family have been allowed to visit him. Schumacher returned home from Lausanne University Hospital in 2015, while details in 2016 his lawyer Felix Dam confirmed that he cannot walk. His son Mick, also a racing driver, has admitted he finds it hard coping with his father's injuries, according to a friend. Niklas Nielsen told a Danish newspaper of the 19-year-old, Mick does not say he is sad about his father. He just said sometimes that it is sometimes hard I know him very well, also privately. He is a very quiet and calm guy. Very nice and welcoming and he talks to everyone. It was completely closed and not talked about. I still do a little karting with Ralph Schumacher and his team and nobody talks about it. Related articles Previous one Next Robert Kubica to return to F1 in 2019 with Williams 8. We want his last Grand Prix to feel special in every way. It has helped the less talented people, Fernando Alonso. as Fernando Alonso prepares to race in F1 for the final. Share this article share.